Well, Spokane voters passed a multi-million dollar plan to renovate Riverfront Park. Now the preliminary designs are out for the park's pavilion and some say it is not what was promised to voters. I don't have an answer if we go to the voters and they say, well, last time you lied to us because that's what we will do if we don't cover it. That was Council President Ben Stuckert. The team's design concepts include many upgrades to the structure. But what they don't include is a cover, something that the park's master plan had called for. KXY4's Grace Dissler working for you. And Grace, covering the pavilion has become quite the hot topic. Right, Nadine, the people concerned say covering this pavilion was a specific promise made to voters during the campaign for the $64 million park bond, and they worry that if the city doesn't follow through with it, they might lose the... Uh, the trust of those voters and but the park bond and the design the park board excuse me and the designers say that they know a lot more now than they did when that master plan was created and that covering the pavilion might not be realistic if you wander through riverfront park this summer you'll see all this construction and you'll likely run into this man i love it down here in riverfront park michael olson sets up shop here daily i wind paper into a rope and then I weave, and it comes out looking like the real wicker, and it's just as strong. He's become somewhat of an unofficial spokesman for what's going on with the Riverfront Park project. I get asked questions about the park almost every day, <laughs> and people wondering what's going on with the park. He's heard about the dispute brewing, to cover or not to cover the pavilion. From what I've heard, that the structure may not be strong enough to hold it, a cover and the expert advice is that that structure may not be designed properly to support you know tons of material as it did during expo at a public meeting last night the park board showed off the designs they've learned covering the structure will likely add more risk time and cost to the project but city council president ben stuckert and a few others at the meeting expressed frustration with the changes but how can you just say that something that was promised explicitly not just on the side, maybe we'll cover it. It was word for word, we have cover the pavilion. How can we just throw that out? The park board explained as a whole, the Riverfront Park project is still on time and on budget. You know, we can disagree about whether the pavilion is going to be a success or not, but I still feel pretty good about what we've done so far. As for Michael, he says, just like in life, sometimes you've got to adjust your master plan. Well, that ain't a problem for me, and a lot of people should be able to understand that Sometimes when you do have a master plan and things are supposed to go as they're supposed to, sometimes things got to change. And tomorrow the park board will meet to review the design team's interim plan and discuss how to move forward with the pavilion project. Reporting live in Riverfront Park, Grace Ditzler, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Grace.